No, get out of the way. Get get out of the. All right, cancel. Cancel the launch. Cancel the launch. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. It's Dawn, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, that's right. Falcon 9, SpaceX. Yeah. <laughs> they had to abort their launch. Plus, I have some pretty exciting news about Princess Cruise Lines, a new class of ship, the Queen Mary. What else do I have? Oh, I also have CDC has an announcement as well, but it might not be the one you were expecting. That's right, SpaceX's latest rocket ship to take off, the Falcon 9. Well, uh, it, it had to abort uh, for the second time. The first time it had to abort because of bad weather. This time, however, it had to abort because apparently an errand cruise ship went into the hazard area of the launch. There's a certain area of the water that they launched the, the spaceship over that if something happened, that's where it's coming down. And of course, they don't want anything in that area. It's normally a clear space. I don't remember the last time I've ever heard of a any kind of ship not being warned, not being in place, not doing anything in a in a hazard area during a rocket launch. They, they're, they're normally very well scheduled and placed out, and this doesn't happen. This is apparently an Aaron cruise ship, and they're not saying which one. Now, is it a cruise ship that normally leaves at a Port Canaveral, a Carnival ship left, and a Royal Caribbean ship left? However, those are planned areas of sailing. They know where they're going. They know what time they're leaving. They know all this stuff. So it's hard to think that those were the ships that caused the problem. But they're not saying. <laughs> so imagine that. And a rocket ship gets delayed by a cruise ship. That's a weird one. And some good news for people who love the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary place it off there in California, and she is going to finally get some refurbishment. She's a hotel. She's a tourist attraction. And people are going to be able to finally say, hey, you know what? It's finally being fixed up. Now, originally they said they would need about $100 million to fully repair the ship. And they said, well, maybe we should just let, you know, let it go now and get rid of it. That's a lot of money. And then they found out it'll cost even more than that money to get rid of the cruise ship from the port. So they've invested. They're putting in $5 million. They're doing initial emergency repair to make sure she's stable and doesn't sink and doesn't fill up with water <laughs> like most cruise ships are. We don't want it to happen ever, right? At least she's starting the repairs and there will be future repairs as well, which is great news for people who want to visit and keep that history alive in the cruise port and maybe stay in the Queen Mary as a hotel. That sounds like a, a good night to spend before your cruise. We also just announced that the Wonder of the Seas, Royal Caribbean took uh, possession of her and getting ready for her sailings. Well, Princess Cruise Lines has just taken the sixth of the Royal class ships, has taken possession of the Discovery Princess, which will be heading out to the West Coast for some sailings very, very shortly. That's good news. That's a brand new, beautiful, Royal class ship setting sail out there. Right now, the Majestic is in that area, and the Discovery Princess will be taking over for her in the future as well. That's the sixth ship. So what's next for Royal Caribbean? What's next for Princess? What's next? Oh yeah, I also said something about the CDC had an announcement. Well, before I get into all that news, let me just invite you to maybe hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Keep up to date with everything cruising from the brand new ships to rocket ships being blocked by cruise ships to the protocols to the cdc to your policies and insurance etc as well as just fun stuff about cruising it really does help the channel out when you subscribe and i would really really appreciate it okay first off the cdc has finally put up the notice and officially said yes uh the rules for COVID-19 governing the cruise ships has officially expired. We are no longer guiding the cruise ships. We are no longer doing any of that. Of course, they are turning that into a volunteer program, which most of the cruise lines are signing on to. 
officially they're not making the rules they're making the suggestions now which gives more freedom to the cruise lines to run their businesses as they see fit and come up with some of their policies in fact the cdc remember has also came out and said you know what the cruise ships have gone above and beyond what we've asked them to do they've introduced more protocols and more safety features and more cleaning procedures than even we recommended so they've been doing it really really well they still have it as a level four do not travel but guess what uh, the entire Caribbean is level four, United States is level four, UK is level four, and Canada is level... You, you get the picture. Everybody's a level four with the virus out there as we speak. In the short term, does that mean that the, all those protocols are going to disappear and everything's going to go back to normal cruising? Absolutely not. It does mean, however, that as cruise lines see cases go down on their ships and their crew members back to work and less and less cases, they are free to start saying, okay, uh, maybe we're going to go to three-day testing instead of two-day testing. Or maybe we're going to go back to our policies where we have vaccinated areas where you don't have to wear your mask when you're watching a show or going to a theater or something along those lines it, it's really going to be up to each individual cruise line. We'll see what happens, but fingers crossed, things get better and better. And we start to see some less and less restrictions out there as cases are finally starting to turn and go back down. Now, as I mentioned, Princess is getting the brand new Discovery Princess, but what re now that's a beautiful, going to be a beautiful ship. It really is like the, the last two three uh, royal class ships with the blue accents and that like the majestic princess and the sky princess the enchanted prince beautiful beautiful designs beautiful ships absolutely but i'm excited for the next ship and the next ship has started being built for princess that's right it's going to be called the sphere class and it's going to be the largest cruise ship princess has ever built now the royal class ship is around 145,000 gross tons well the sphere class is going to be around 175,000 gross tons and if we're for a size comparison, that's larger than the Quantum class, which is 168,000. It's going to be between Quantum and the Oasis class ships. So a large, large cruise ship. It's also going to be the first Princess cruise ship run by LNG Fuel, which is always good. People are going to be very happy about that environmental impact that it's going to be running with the clean energy. Also, it's going to have the Anzipods, which makes the steering of those ships far superior than just the rear propulsion steering that they normally have right now. As you can tell, those Oasis class ships and they can just zoom into any little port and just side swipe and it's very easy to maneuver for even those large, large ships where when it's just rear propulsion, it, the, a big long wind in a narrow area can really turn that ship, makes it hard to control with the the pods, it makes it so much easier to keep everything steady and smooth. So some of those areas that Princess keeps a little bit away from, they may be able to go into with this new class ship. So that's two cruise lines in 2023 coming out with brand new classes of cruise ship. We have Princess coming out with the Sphere class, 175,000 gross tons, the largest ship they've ever built. And then we have the Royal Caribbean coming out with their Icon class. And it's also going to be LNG fuel. So all the new clean energy and everything. And it's going to be between the Quantum class and the Oasis class. And that's about all we really know <laughs> about the Icon class. But both are scheduled to appear in 2023. Now we get excited when we see the new ships come in, like the Wonder of the Seas, the Odyssey of the Seas, the Discovery Princess. But think about when the Edge class, the Edge, Celebrity Edge first came out, how excited it was to see a, a whole new design of ship. Well, that's what we have now to look forward to in 2023. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.